Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is The Claw. This is Flippers, and Hello. today we are playing The Beginner's Guide. It's from the same guy who made the Stanley Parable. This time around, we're going for a cold start, so neither of us really know anything about this game. <laughs> if you are a beginner, please read this guide. Uh, I, I, I think it's just the game. I, I guess it is a game. It's a game for beginners. Whee! Does, does it make us noobs? Are we noobs? Th we are new. It is a beginner's guide. Uh, Aud uh, audio uh, is on. Check. Check. One, one, check. Hello. Check. Is it working? Oh, oh, I, I have a keyboard. Oh, yes, the first yes, person yes. shooter. Oh, this isn't a guide. It's a guide to a first person shooter. Oh, of course. Hi there. Who? Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. Oh, You're welcome. My name is Davey Reedon. I wrote The Stanley Parable. And while oh, that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Oh. Gotcha. Now, these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 mm. at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff, and his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative the works corner. that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, <laughs> I think, the Whoa. first game he yep. ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. Yep. <laughs> you can walk around here, by the way. Oh. And uh, mostly it's just... Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. Uh, okay. But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. Uh. Of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. Uh. And it kind of makes you wonder. What was going through his head as he was building this? Can't, can't this is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. Mm. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. Okay. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. I feel like there's a lot of philosophy so, in this. So, it's 2008, <laughs> Coda starts making these Very games, sketch. and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer uh. forever. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at oh, one point he guy. jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. Dun, he made dun, his last game, dun, and then he hasn't made another one since. Oh, no. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, we'll and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. Hmm. Oh, and if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n -E at gmail.com. Oh. Okay, Whoa. that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. Legit okay. thing. As each game is loading, yeah, I'll show you the date that it was completed. Le this first one everything? was made in November 2008. <laughs> November 2008. This reminded me of the Magic Circle. I mean, even, like, the name Kodo was in the Magic Circle. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Uh... Whisper Machine. Status active. Evacuate immediately. Oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> I got a gun. Oh, You're right, Flippers. Hello. Good, good, good day. It uh, is nice to be here at uh, work. This game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Kodo. Yeah. All right, first-person shooter. Here we go. Can I shoot things? Looking for whisper. Oh, okay. Oh, I can shoot things. You gotta, you gotta count your ammo. It's one of those games where they don't give you your ammo. Security call breached. Hostile alien life forms inbound. Hostiles. Oh. They're hostile. Oh, 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 God. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid development. Oh, okay. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. But then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. Yeah, it's... You can't even oh, reload the, the gun when you run out of bullets. 
But ultimately, we don't really know. Uh, Maybe okay. Coda no, thought no, that no, actually no. it was complete the way that no, it wait, is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, uh, rather uh. than for what they're not. Oh. Enemy force neutralized. Oh, oh, good job, Claw. You, you really gave it to him. Yeah, they, they were I love how you can see the body of the universe from this room. Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this it fell to the like bottom. Weird ass skybox. So many people would freak out. Ah, uh, uh, this is weird. They're not giving us much chance to talk. This guy's real chatterbox. Oh, yeah. Remind, this reminds me of a uh, containment breach, though, you know? What, you mean uh, SCP? Yeah. Lead SCP? Yeah, a little bit of it. Apparently, this space station has a labyrinth on it. Oh. I, because uh, why the fuck? Sure. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good at There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just going to skip you on that. Thing right. What? Oh, what? <laughs> hey, screw you. I hey. Oh, come on. Fuck you, I'm going back. That would have been fun. Or if you'd really like to solve the labyrinth, you're welcome to do that. Yes, too. please. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So this is like the Stanley Parable. Uh, see, I told you you could have just gone down. Okay, okay. I'm not just going to continue on that. Boom. Look at that. All right. Yay. Black door. Okay, oh my God, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Is that it? Hey, you there in the engine room? Uh, you could save us all. That beam is powering the whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you, your body could stop the beam. Ah. Uh, it's so uh, much to ask, but for all of our lives. If I know, if I know, if I know games, that is yourself? the whisper machine. Ah, uh, it is the whisper machine telling you to commit suicide. Yeah, this is this is some Glados bullshit. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, um, gee, there, I don't know. Can I, I mean, can I fuck off? I got I got wife and kids to think about. You know, I mean, I, I can't. Mean, I have pixel children. I can't. I can't just... <laughs> this is not a branching point. Unfortunately, the only option is to step into the beer. Oh. Damn it. Oh damn. Fuck it! Ugh. Let me pause here for a second. Oh. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. Uh -huh. Okay. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Somewhere. I'm gonna explode, aren't I? <laughs> what? Is it an endless loop? It's an endless loop. Uh. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe you're showing us, like, whatever happened. So, we warp? No, I think it just restarts. I don't know. No door. Jump in the beam. I can't. I can jump, but I can't do much else. You could just go. I guess we just gotta go in the beam again. Ah, uh, okay. It's the endless state. Fuck it! Oh. Ah, that was the bu- What? Huh? Whee! Okay. Oh, hey, it's, look, it's Labyrinth. <laughs> Not that hard. Uh, the beam causes you to start floating. And this is an important moment for us. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Uh, like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but... What's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. Uh, he wants to do more of these really weird and experimental portable. designs. So he stops work on this and moves uh, on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. So make philosophical comments on shitty games. <laughs> um, question mark, question mark, profit. Incomplete games, yes. Past was behind her. Okay. Hello, the past. Yep. You are. Oh. You are behind us, indeed. Yep. Oh. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Oh. Oh. Oh God. That, oh, that'd be that's a great, actually terrifying. That'd be a great horror game starter right there. Actually, yeah, this is pretty clever. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, is there a door there? I think it's just. Okay. Oh. The music is like backwards. Oh shit. Music like backwards. Whoa! Oh, I get it. So it's a short it's and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. Okay. 
It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, oh, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Whoa! Keep wait, wait. Why did the future keep changing? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Philosophical just... crap again. It's not crap. Not it's, crap it's, it's, it's interesting. It's intrigue. Uh, Drama. Uh, what the shit? When she stops and looks, it becomes clearer. Apparently. Can I? Can I? Nope. Still, still, yeah. Still going backwards. Oh, I bet you this is like a philosophical thing. Like the future is unseen unless you stop and look at it. So it's behind her. behind her. Oh. How will she find the string? Uh, can I just find it as we go along? Open the door. Oh, who confronts it? Uh, duh, hello. It's a short little thought. Oh. It says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Oh, okay. Didn't need anything more than that. Which, to me, is why it works. Because it gets out quick. Okay, uh, next uh. one. <laughs> Round three. Fight. Oh, oh it's slender. Oh, Here we go. shit. Either that or you just on a Wait, move. I can't. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's like a flashlight. It's invisible walls. Now entering. The twilight zone. <laughs> the twilight zone. No, I was gonna say okay. Shrek swamp. <laughs> oh god. Get out of my this swamp. This is not the Shrekening. That is not something <laughs> I want to happen. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me uh -huh. for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Hi, welcome to a two thousand dollar game. This guy That's is it. either a philosophy <laughs> professor, or like oftentimes Coda insane. would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Nonsense oh, is every direction. Oh, oh god, we have to go up the stairs. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Yeah. Once he stopped work on a game, like that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at Easter all, but hunting. what are you going to do? Easter egg hunting. You're dead to I me, game! it's tempting, but there's actually nothing over here. Sorry. There's Fuck you, I'm else. looking. <laughs> Why should we trust you? <laughs> this is this is what I do. I, I hunt for things no man don't has exist. ever found before on an empty plane of existence that is really fucked up. Like, wh why? He hunts for things that don't exist. His brain. Like, if, if you're making an incomplete, endless scape of nothingness with, like, blocks and stuff, why add the empty soundtrack? <laughs> why did he... Why is it empty? Like, why didn't he add, like, a soundtrack for what he was going to make? Uh, I guess that lends credence to the whole philosophical element that he right. was talking about. I, uh, well, here we have some stairs. All right. They are made uh, out of aluminum. We're doing this the right way. What? <laughs> Way to go. Oh shit. I think I can walk up the railing. There you go faster backwards. Oh, I do. Oh no. Oh, gonna... oh. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So, why, if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Hmm. Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Can I, can I kill myself? Click. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a thing I can do? Can I just jump? That's a good, can you still jump? Oh, oh okay. there's an invisible wall. Nope. And, oh, 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 we have a nice apartment. Ah, nope. nope. Look, 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 look. No apartment. suicide for me. Nope. Oh, sorry. Hello, cruel world. Oh, uh, what, uh, oh, this game is nothing but giant blocks. You're a gay. Heck. You're in a small room, plus you to surrender. Oh, there you go. You can kill yourself. Uh, a button you press to stop the chaos that doesn't work. A room that's warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. Aww. Simultaneously, you were trying to eat the sharks. <laughs> you can to all. Coda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. Boat. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, <laughs> but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb <laughs> to get there. Oh, 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 geez, aren't you so philosophical? Okay, so I found what this game is. A, a game, game of only posters and concept art showing what the game is supposed to be. Oh, Ta-da! <laughs> I wanted to read more! Yeah, ready, set, fish. All right, let's fish. Fish. 